raining here. Yay! And not snow? No. Oh. Raining, raining men. It's raining men! Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Rex. with Corbin. I'm a man. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who's on Patreon. Follow us on your Twitter account. Subscribe if you haven't. And hit that like button. And, hey, you saw the title. Yep. We just saw, separately, uh, we're doing a movie review for yep. the uh, much, much anticipated Pony and Selvan Part Duh. Uh, if you haven't seen our review of the first film, uh, please go check that out. We saw it, obviously, right when it came out. We also yep. did a Skype review because I was also out of town <laughs> again. Yep. Uh, and so we're just kind of keeping the tradition open here and uh, doing the review via Skype here. Um, but it's obviously the Money Rottenham directed the two-parter uh, composed by our Nunbar Air Rahman starring Vikram. Garthy, Ashwarya, a billion trillion other people. It's a it's a massive, massive, massive film. Um, but once again, if you haven't seen our review of the first one, please go check that out. Um, and also, this was going to be a lot of non spoiler, just because it's once again it's new. Even though I know it's based off a book, but there's not not everybody has read the book, and so we don't want to give anything away. Um, so when we talk about spoilers, we will tell you beforehand. Um, but, uh, the first part of this is going to be a little, mostly non-spoiler for all of you who, uh, haven't seen it or haven't read the book. So, Rick, your initial thoughts of Pony and Selvin part duh. My initial thoughts going in, we've talked about this, about, uh, what we ex- expect from Money Rottenham as far as pacing, action, things of that nature. And I will say with, I, I, First, let me just give you my overall feel of how I thought about the film. Okay. Especially the second half. Yes. I loved it. Yes. Um, the first half for me, almost, it just felt like this wonderful, slow saturation back into the world. Yeah. That just was this luxuriating in storytelling. After the interval, yeah. it just became just this mixture of it, totally original. But if I can compare it to anything of what you could expect, I would tell somebody, go in expecting it, the epic feel of a Cecil B. DeMille film, but carrying with it some of the best, the, like, the same kind of feel you get when you're really into Phantom of the Opera and you're in the climax of that film and you're getting (laughs) all of the theatrical feels. So yeah, I, I, I liked this more than the, than PS one. Yeah. I, uh, I, I really enjoyed it as well. I, I can't say if I did enjoy it more than, cause I, I think I enjoyed it just as much which is as, still, as, as yeah. part one. Cause I, I just, I really enjoyed part one. So did I. It just, I, this is one of the great things about filming something at the exact same time, like r- two films at the exact same time, like Lord of the Rings did or, with right, the three right. films. Cause it had the exact feeling of the first one. Yeah. It just felt like, like it was supposed to the second part of this, the second half of this story that they were telling. Um, and so hats off to Monty Rottenham and the entire crew of, of, of keeping that same feel of the first one. Cause I love the feel of the first one, even yeah. though once again, if you like the first one, I can almost guarantee you're going to like this one. Yeah. If you if you didn't like the first one because it was slow, you're going to still going to hate this one. It's yep. just, it's the same feel. This one has slightly more action, but do not go into this film for action. Never. You shouldn't have done that in the first place. If nope. you, you saw the first one, you should know in the second one that you still shouldn't go in for the action, even though right. there is more action in this second part, uh, and we'll talk about some of that. Yeah. Um, but I I. I agree. And there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about, uh, particularly in this one. Let's start off with our actors. I loved Vikram in this. So he, did I. He was amazing. I, I, he was good in the first one, but I think he had more, uh, more to do in this one. They got to flex his thespianatic muscles a lot more. And he, he riveted me the entire time. 
he did me too. And with we, we, you know, we'll talk about this in the spoilers, but that's one of the reasons why I lean a little bit more into the second, second film. Half. I do the, it, yeah. Not just the second half, but even the second film, because yeah. I felt like there was a lot more meat for the characters theatrically to not just for the story, but for us and for them as actors, for, for him, for Ashwarya, for, uh, uh, Carthy yeah. for, uh, I just, but I, I agree with you. He, you know, we had walked away from PS1 really giving the elevated level of magnetism to Ashwarya. Yeah. This, this one, there's ensemble oh, yeah. level magnetism from all of the leads in this thing where they have moments where I, I was sitting there thinking this is, this is very special right now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Vikram, yeah. He he was just everything he was doing was so wonderful. It was so real. It was powerful. Yeah. His eyes were intense. I just everything he did, I loved every second he was on screen. Me too. Um and so that was great. And Ashwarya, once again, uh just like she was the standout in the first one for me, uh, even though there was a bunch of great people, she uh and it was her character, I'm not giving anything away, it took a, a turns yeah, that I didn't just, expect. Again, I there is there was just i felt for the characters in the storyline it's not that it was better it's just that there was more for us and everyone to kind of sink their teeth into theatrically and dramatically in the story yeah absolutely yeah. uh so both of them were, were equally amazing and so car karthik is it karthi or karthik i i thought it was karthi, karthi? I, 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 yeah who plays the yeah yeah uh karthi uh, just as enjoyable, and I thought gave a, a, a really good performance in this one, just like he did in the in the first part. Yeah. Um, and he br- brings a lot of the the heart, a lot of the humor uh, yeah. into this film. Um, and the, I mean, everybody in this did, even though the guy didn't enjoy so much in the in the first one, he had a much smaller role in this in this part. Uh, yeah. the uh, Carthy's friend, basically. Right. Um, I, I even enjoyed him in this one because he was a little less, less, uh, a little over the top in this, uh, at, at, than he was in the first one. Yeah. But, um, the, uh, there's so much to talk about, um, without giving anything away, though. Um, the, one of the things that was really enjoyable in this part was because the it started off and it was it's actually very similar to the first one in terms of it took me about 30 minutes to like get my bearings again exactly and be like okay okay this is yeah that's okay this is who okay yeah that's that's him that's that's her okay and and okay that's what happened in the first part i get that i remember that and and then okay now we're off right. um and they they brought in a different a couple different elements that weren't there before but right, it, right when there was a lot of really cool moments and there was a lot of great action in this. Um, once again, don't go into it for the action, but like the interval uh, section, I thought mm-hmm. was fantastic. So did I. Uh, and it, it, it kept you invested for a two hour 45 film, even though the first half was, was more of the establishing still. Uh, it, it, I thought the, the pacing of it was really nice too. Yep. I, I agree. Um, I, I thought, um, is 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 the right pronunciation? Is it Jayam Ravi for Pony and Sullivan? The writer of it? No, 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 the actor. Oh, gotcha! Yes, Jayam. It, it, it's Jay, Jayam Ravi, right? Yes, yes. Jayam, if that's mispronounced, forgive us. But uh, we, you know, must must give. Especially, there's stuff I will talk about in the spoilers in terms of equally uh, all 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 of the leads and all of the supporting cast members were at the top of their game believable as the characters which is really incredible I, i'm really interested to know how many people who've read the books and love the books are just as happy uh, with the incarnation it, it, this this film though it's thematically and genre it's so different i was reminded of a lot of the pacing and the way people appreciated how the Lord of the Rings came into being and, and how well it was received as a literary 
translation onto film that Peter Jackson did an admirable job of taking a very, very thick text and making all of the characters, characters that people thought to themselves, yeah, that, that's what I envisioned when I read the book. Having not read the book, I don't know what you think. For me, I can't imagine this isn't who I would be envisioning while I'm reading the book. They just yeah. seem to be perfect for the roles. Oh, I agree. Yeah, everybody in this is amazing. And there's there's only one character that, even though I would love to, I'm not going to say one character that I'd love to know more about. One character I just felt, at least in the film, just didn't feel as fleshed out to me. Hmm. As and we'll get to that in spoilers. In spoilers, okay. Um, but I think I know who that character might be. And I was, I just wanted to know more. Yeah, I just wanted to I know think more. I, know, I think I know who that character um, is. And so that's that's one of my my gripes, uh, and it's a small gripe. But and, and I'd like to know more about all of them, and that's why this would be a great series. Like if it would be a a, a ten and ten part ten hour series. Freaking um, go seven seasons, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and hire all these actors again because I just I wanted to know about all of them. Um, and the 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 music was it was really interesting. It, I, it would start off almost a little spoiler, like three songs, like boom, 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 yeah, like right off the bat. Uh, a little spoiler, there, sorry. Um, but then you didn't you don't get someone for for a, for a, a while, but then the background score. And I don't know if that was AR or if that was somebody else. Well, uh, he's the one credited on IMDb. All composition is AR Raymond. Yeah. Um, it, I, I enjoyed the entire background score of this. Oh, it kept me, me too. Emotionally invested. Uh, it was also just beautiful. Uh, the song, Every song that we saw, obviously, was great. I, would, I still would have loved them to be even longer uh, there, a lot of times. It, and there were moments with the score where other composers could be guilty of falling prey to the proverbial soap opera melodramatic usage of instrumentation and it's a credit to both <laughs> what a surprise A.O. Raymond and Money yeah. Rottenham yeah. that the exact opposite was what took place every single nuance of the score felt so perfectly complimentary so accentuating of what was going on I didn't feel manipulated I felt accentuated I, I just and, and the on the technical side of things guys like most Monty Rottenham films, if you go into this with the expectation of of Monty Rottenham and you're not going for and looking for, say, Padmavat or Bajiram Astani, you know, Sanjay Vila Bansali visuals, the cinematography and the lighting, the, the cinematography by Ravi Varman, forgive any mispronunciation, they're especially in the second half in this one climactic kind of moment that's very important to the film there were so many lovely shots that i just i just at some point i went now you're just showing off yeah. now now you're just you're just showing off at how good you are at this. oh yeah the the center talking just like in the first one was absolutely incredible it was so beautiful yeah uh so hats off to to that part of it because then the once again the production design and yeah so with, the Ronnie. with the vfx is obviously the the world building wise i yes. thought it was great there were some elements of action that you could see vfx was was not top notch forgivable uh, Kind of like in the first one, it happened in the first one as well. But once yep. again, this isn't an action film at all. Uh, you get some action, and some of it's actually very good. There's some great Absolutely. stunt work in terms of like when people are running through certain things. Absolutely. That's when that's when the action and and like close to hand to hand combat. Right, right. That that is a lot of really good. It's when you get some of the the more extravagant stuff that you you can see a lot of the the VFX. Um, but that's it's forgivable, just like in the first one, because I wasn't expecting VFX in this film. Uh, I was I was expecting an intimate story. Yeah, and, um, and, and none of those none of those things where you can tell it's CGI. That's all. It's not like you see it and go, "Oh, that's brutally bad." You just it's gotten so good now that when you can tell it's CGI, it's it's not good CGI. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so I I really enjoyed it. We can get into some spoils here. Um, they, like I said, I don't really have a lot of gripes because I I, I really enjoyed the whole ride. Um, and there's just maybe I'd like to know a little more about certain characters or. Um, the uh, I even I enjoyed the ending. Uh, it, it, there was a lot of stuff that caught me off guard in this film in terms of like I didn't maybe obviously if you read the books you knew where it was going, but I had zero clue 
of what was going to happen, who was going right. to happen, who was going to die, who was not going to die. I didn't, I didn't right. know any of it. And so I was, right. uh, I was enjoying the, the ride and I was emotionally invested yes. the entire time. I sure uh, was too. And so, yeah, we can get into the sports. So if you haven't watched it, please go watch it. It's obviously in theaters now. So go, go check away. that out. Um, but Here come the spoils. Some, some spoils now. So yeah, yeah the, spoiler time. The, the character I wanted to know was uh, old Ashwarya. Yep, me too. Right? Yeah, like, I, I was felt... so I was so upset. I thought, no, I want more of her. Yeah, because like in the first one, I, it was such a mystery of like who this was, and I felt like we got like two scenes. I and I know she was a mute, obviously, uh, yeah. but it just felt like we didn't. I, I felt like there could have been more there, and maybe there. Pro- and I bet there is in the book. I sure. bet they, they go much more deep into it, yeah. but I just, I, I wanted a little more in the, in the, in the movie. I did too. And maybe that was intentional as well. The mystery behind her, they left it with some mystery. And I, I also really appreciate it. I felt like they did a very good and believable job of making her look the age she was without making a Shwarya look aged. That's a yeah. hard thing to do. If her if her hair and makeup weren't as good as it was, it, it would have really pulled. But the fact that it was as good as it was left the believability factor and the suspension of disbelief intact. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so that that was probably one of my biggest. Yeah, rights, me too. I guess I just I just wanted to know more. There were so many scenes in this that I that I adored, like the scene. Once again, we're in spoilers. Spoiler. Um, the when when Ashwari, the whole scene before Ashwari oh. kills Vikram. That it was, ama- is... was amazing by both of them, but especially Vikram was fucking killing that scene. Um, that scene is just from start to finish when they're in the tunnels going in. Yeah. All of the buildup for it and the culmination of it. And then the aftermath, that entire, what, 25 minute chunk was just, I-, I could watch, I would watch that again. Yeah, absolutely. It was just captivating. I was I was emotionally invested in them, oh. even though like I did I I I I was assuming that you know they were bad for each other and blah blah blah. Obviously, there was a lot that went on in the relationship that we found out. Um, but I was I was like, oh, oh what are they going to do? Are they going to run off together? Oh, right. oh, she said she didn't love him. What? 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 Is she going to kill yeah. him? Yeah. Is she actually what? <laughs> She's then, not going to kill him. Yeah, no. she's going to kill him. Did she mean that? She couldn't have meant that. No, and it's, yeah. it, it was absolutely incredible. I love that whole and every every scene Vikram was in was was uh was incredible. And Ashwari yeah. as well. She's just like in the first one. She had a, she was very different uh, in this one in terms of uh you you got a lot more backstory about her in this one. Yeah. Uh, so you figured out what was going on behind the eyes. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, and she has amazing eyes. So she did absolutely incredible. Loved her. The other scene that was really good. It was a, a small scene. It was with Parthi and the, the princess. Mm. I love that scene where, where he was blindfolded. Oh yeah. I love that scene. I did too. I thought it was very well done. It was very too. intimate. Yeah. Uh, and, and I enjoyed the heck out of it. I thought both of those yeah. actors did really good. I did too. And getting back to that scene with Vikram, a couple things and and Ashwarya, there's a moment where he turns and he screams lies a couple of times. And a lesser actor would have made that a real groaner for you because you would have known they didn't connect to anything. And it was just this empty indicating lies. And it just added to the depth of the anguish he was going through. And then just come on that spinning shot. Yeah. When they're embracing and you, you the reason you know it happened is because of the looks on their faces and they're doing the spin and he is slowly slumping but at the beginning of the stab he has a smile and she's in anguish and then when they pull her from his body they framed it with the flames behind her and then he comes running into his prince with the flames it was just cinematic poetry that scene yeah absolutely <laughs> Uh, it was absolutely wonderful. Um, there, uh, Pony and Selvin, the the actor who did him, uh, I, I enjoyed his character a lot oh, as well. A lot, yeah. Um, I thought he brought a lot of empathy to that role. Um, I thought that the end kind of it was kind of funny to say for two and a half hour, two hour forty five. I thought it kind of ended fast. Uh, it it did. It kind of felt like Monty Rotten was saying, "Hey, y'all, I'm not making any more movies. This is just yeah. how we're we're done." Like battle right? battle ended. Co- coronation 
right, 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 right. or whatever it is, obviously. And I thought I, I enjoyed like uh, the the because I didn't obviously I didn't know that was going to happen that he was going to give the throne to his uncle uh, and everything like that. So I, I enjoyed all that. It just it felt like battle over, ending the movie. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. those, like those that and uh, old Ashwari, I would like a little more. Those were probably my biggest gripes with the entire film. I was like, it just and you know he can't make a four hour film. That's why it would be good as a series, right? It would. <laughs> it would. There's, so, there's so much meat on the on the bones of this story. Yeah. Uh, other stuff, the some action, like the interval action scene, I thought was fantastic. A lot of parkour kind of stuff going on yeah. there. I thought great action there. Uh, really good action in the the final fight scene for uh, you know they couldn't do like Helms Deep or anything like that because obviously they didn't have the budget. But I thought for they put a lot. I felt, I felt they put a lot of their budget into that final uh, battle. I, I did too, and I thought they did an excellent job. It felt like, and maybe it was historically accurate as it needed to be. It really felt like the the battle sequence in Braveheart, yeah, where it's just giving you the feeling of what it's like to be on the ground with everybody fighting, not necessarily observing it from as many different angles as possible. It went far more for that that sense of I felt like I was standing on the ground watching it happen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, I had a question. Maybe you picked it up because when Par- uh, Carthy was tied up and Ashwario talked to him. Yeah. Didn't she say untie him? But then the next scene he was tied up and his friend. Do you remember that at all? I don't know. I just maybe I misheard and it was like, keep him tied up. I don't know. I thought like after that scene was over and she left. Uh, and yeah, she, I-, I thought I thought she said untie him. But then the next scene was his friend in the disguise coming to right. break him out, and so I was a little. You maybe you guys can clear my confusion. Yeah, what me too, because I I agree with you. I don't, I'm not remembering it clearly. I th- maybe I just read the subtitles wrong, or or maybe it said like keep him tied. I don't. I can't remember. I thought she said untie him, and then the next scene he was still tied up, and his friend came oh out. Right. Uh, and, and, yeah, and, I don't know. Empty. I please let me know if you've seen it, and obviously uh, let me know if I'm misremembering what, what that was, because I was confused as to why he was still tied up uh, if she said untie him. Uh, <laughs> not that that, you know, really matters. Uh, I thought Carthy's final scene, like when he came in and he was all bloody, and which was a great shot, actually, the blood when he was coming in and walking. Once again, the, yep. production, the production design on this was fucking amazing. Uh, yep. I, I love the production design on this film. Uh, so hats off to everybody there. But uh, his, his final scene there, I thought he did really well. Oh, yeah. Um, all the songs the, the the I loved the song that was over the battle sequence. I thought that was really really beautiful. Yeah. Um. Well, and they though they didn't have nearly as large of a participation in this as they did in the first one. Our other two ladies did as good a job as they did in the other ones. Yeah. Uh, they. They. I, I mean. The, are you talking the, the Trisha? Trisha. Of, yeah. Uh. Or, or is it a short? Or Sorbita? Sorbita wasn't in it very much. This one, no, not exactly. They weren't. They both weren't in it as much as they were in the first one. Yeah, the two, the two other ladies, but uh, again, did an ample, wonderful job with what they were given. Yeah, I, uh, I really enjoyed it for for almost three hour film. I, I enjoy these kind of films that are actor and story driven, and with obviously, a, uh, I think this had actually a good amount of action compared to uh, what it could have had, and I would have been happy if it didn't really have the action that it did. Yeah. Um, because that's not why I went into this film, but the, the, what Ashwarya and what Vikram were serving and what Karthi all did, uh, and with obviously what Mani Ratnam gave them, uh, from this story, uh, I, I really, really enjoyed it. I'm very happy with the entire overall collection of this film, uh, the part one and part two, um, it lived up to it for me. Um, and maybe not for people that once again expected Bahubali, but I think once again you're weird if you expected that. <laughs> I, I agree. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Don't go. My, don't go to expecting SS Rajamuli when you're going into a Mani Ratnam film. Go exactly. Get, it's like it's like expecting Christopher Nolan when you're watching Steven Spielberg. You're, yeah, they're, you're not going to get. They're totally different directors. Weirdos. Um, but anything else you wanted to talk about before we know? No, I I just I uh, I'm I'm so happy that it lived up to what in fact that sequence from from his death to the end it it it, from that point it exceeded my expectations i was enjoying every minute of it and it was really living up to it but then 
it hit the afterburners for me at that scene. And I just, it made it be so incredible to me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I agree. Uh, so let us know what you thought about this movie. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What didn't you like? What did you like? Obviously any information that you think we needed to know, please let us know. And, uh, on to the next episode. On to the next episode. <laughs>